Welcome to the Sphere of Graces, Pastor Mabaji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. It's a beautiful week, beautiful week. And today is a beautiful day. We're considering the subject of abiding in the Father's love. And today, we want to look at the practical steps to abiding in the Father's love. Now, Gospel according to St. John chapter 15, we'll start a reading from verse 9. Amazing scripture. As the Father hath loved me, the Lord says, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. Now, this is very important. The Lord is saying to us, as the Father has loved him, so has he loved us. What does that mean? He's loving us with the same love that the Father has loved him with. Praise God. Beautiful. That means it's the same love, same love, same love, same love, same love. Flowing from the Father through the Lord Jesus to us. So the love of the Father for us is as good and as much as his love for the Lord Jesus Christ. This is amazing. Amen. Believe that with all of your heart. Glory to God. Amen. And then he gives us a charge. He says, continue in my love. That means it's your responsibility to continue in my love. Praise God. You know, that means the love is flowing towards you. Now it's your responsibility to stay in the domain of that love, to stay in the confines of that love, to continue walking in the light of that love. Praise God. And how do you make that happen? He says, in verse 10 of Gospel according to St. John chapter 15, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. So how do we abide in God's love? How do we abide in the love of God? When you keep the commandment of love, to love one another, praise God, to love your brother, and that is what it means to abide in the love of God. It's so simple. You know, and that is the miracle domain. That is the domain of the supernatural. That is the domain of power. That is the domain of having all your needs met. Praise God. Now, again, in uh, Gospel of St. John chapter 14, we start reading here from verse 21. Jo Gospel of St. John chapter 14 and verse 21. The Lord himself speaking says, He that has my commandments, which is the commandment of love to love one another, and keeps them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. See, this is the domain of manifestation. <laughs> Glory to God. It's such a beautiful, beautiful place to abide in the love of God. God wants us to dwell in his love. That's where God dwells. That's where power dwells. That's where manifestation of God is. God wants us to dwell in his love. And how do we do that? First, understand the first side of God's love. Believe that God loves you. Amen. Drink in that love. Meditate on his love for you. Second, or subsequent to that, respond to that love. And what is your response, your correct response to the love of God for you? Is to love your brothers, to love one another. That's the response. And as you do that, you abide in the Father's love. And that is the place of manifestation. That's the place of power. Your needs are met there. The power of God is strong on you there. There's favor walking in your life right there because this is the place to be. This is the place to live in the love of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And this is the profound revelation that will change your life. And today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that your response to the love of God for you is correct. You're loving others around you. Love works no ill towards others. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Praise God. I'm going to be talking about practical steps to working in love tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you. God bless you.